We're used to talk about the 2000s in the present tense, but it takes a while to sink in just how much time has passed. So many fan-favorite stars have been replaced that only the most loyal of fans remember them. Zumbolo compiled a list of seven fallen stars that were once popular. Toby Maguire Obey Maguire had a very difficult childhood due to poverty he resorted to selling drugs but at the age of 27 thanks to his role as Spider-Man he became a real star. During the filming of the third movie the crew was so fed up with the actor's ridiculous demands that they were on the brink of replacing him with a modest Jake Gyllenhaal. Yet another incident took place during an illegal poker tournament where Toby won stolen money and couldn't shake the police off his back for a very long time. His career was under fire because his actions and physical appearance no longer fit the shy teenager category. Hayden Christensen Hayden Christensen is the actor who played Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars. It would seem that the appearance in such a major project would have brought him fame, but no. His tandem with Natalie Portman was named as one of the most unconvincing love stories in the movie industry. In the movie Factory Girl, Hayden and Sienna Miller decided to be more convincing. They weren't acting in the bed scene they were actually doing it on camera. Due to his scandalous behavior, he started receiving roles from second-class Russian movie directors. Black Eyed Peas Black Eyed Peas reached the peak of fame towards the mid-00s albums Elefunk and Monkey Business made them the most commercially successful band. Further on, the members started working on solo projects so Black Eyed Peas disbanded in 2011. Four years later, the members reunited, but they couldn't achieve the same level of success without Fergie. Rupert Grint Poor Ron Weasley has always lived in Harry Potter's shadow and it seems that Rupert Grint had the same date. While Daniel Radcliffe managed to build a successful movie career, directors disregarded Rupert. People started seeing him drunk on a regular basis, and in one interview he was complaining that Harry Potter ruined his life. In 2017, the actor was forced to lower his expectations and resort to TV series, earning him several leading roles in several unpopular series. Nelly Furtado at the beginning of the 2000s, Nelly Furtado was dominating world charts with songs like I'm Like a Bird and Turn Off the Light. She was so popular that famous artists were fighting over the chance to sing on stage with her. Later, we found out that she got secretly married with her sound producer. She gave birth to her daughter, then got divorced, but she didn't release any new songs. In 2017, the singer decided to throw a Hail Mary and release the album The Ride, but everyone talked about her weight gain instead. Green Day. After the release of the American Idiot album in 2004, Green Day have ensured their spot on MTV and on their fans' wall posters. The band released three consecutive albums afterwards, but time has gone by, and the band's even closest fans consider it a lost cause. Not even the fit their lead singer threw it a concern due to his severe alcohol addiction managed to bring back their good old days. Atomic Kitten At the dawn of the 2000s, Atomic Kitten could easily match the Spice Girls in terms of popularity, and they even had the honor to perform at the coronation ceremony of Queen Elizabeth. However, success was overturned by love. The band's unspoken leader Natasha Hamilton gave birth and abandoned the stage. The other band members tried hopelessly to build a solo career, but failed. Tell us in the comments which one of these stars could become successful again and who was unfairly forgotten. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. This was Zumbula, see you.